cow. All right, this welcome to Jackass. I'm Francisco Gonzalez, and I'm about to tell Trolls Plymer, Space Quest historian, that Space Quest 2 sucks in Danish as Gilbert Gottfried, because why not? Let's do this. Ready? Here we go. Do you need another practice round? No, no. S Space Quest 2 Sudo. Wow. You've got it. Trolls! Space Quest 2 Sudo. Wow! Ah, <laughs> uh, he didn't react. I am the Space Quest historian. I was back at Adventure X this year for the first time in three years. Adventure X, as you may know, is an annual weekend convention in the UK that focuses on adventure games and narrative games. It's attended by a horde of luminaries, seasoned veterans, legends, weirdos in costumes, and fans of every size, shape, and description. And basically my mecca. When I attended my first Adventure X back in 2016, I had such a great time that I vowed I'd be back every year. And I kept that promise until 2019 when I had to bow out due to other commitments. And again in 2020 because of some different commitments. Same for 21 and 22, but this unholy year of 2023 was to be the year of my return. It almost didn't happen though. Despite getting tickets for both the event and the airplane to and from London sorted well in advance, on the day of departure I ran into a bit of a snag, see? I thought I'd avoided the usual sitcom trope of, um... We can't go, I've no passport. ...by cleverly finding and placing said passport in a safe place inside a glass cabinet where I would be reminded of its safe and easily accessible existence on a daily basis leading up to the day but when I went to pick it up, I happened to briefly glance at the dates given on the inside and noticed, to my horror, that it had expired in 2012. Now, given that I have had many international travels since then, it seemed unlikely that a score of passport security attendants had all somehow taken leave of their senses at precisely the time I walked through their security checkpoints over the course of more than a decade. Therefore, I had to conclude that I had, shockingly and infuriatingly, been staring with arrogant satisfaction at the presence and accountancy of the wrong passport all these weeks leading up to the trip. Long story short, things sorted themselves out. As it turns out, you can go to the airport police station and have a temporary emergency passport issued, so we boarded the plane as scheduled, although it's fair to say my mood was more or less destroyed at that point. In fact, I seriously contemplated turning around and heading home to flop myself onto my bed and spend the weekend quietly sobbing to myself. But things improved significantly once we arrived in England and had a semi-decent sleep at a mold-infested hostel. With the chill air of downtown London and a belly full of coffee jolting my sense of perspective back to life, we headed off to our first day at the convention. And I should mention at this point that my good mood had already started returning moments after waking up because my bunkmate at the hostel was my good friend Torpedo Bear, whose already terrible insomnia had been significantly exacerbated by my uncontrollable snoring during the night, and, as has been well documented on this channel on numerous occasions, I take great joy in causing this man suffering. Anyway, joking aside, our first day at the convention was a blast. We got to meet up with some new friends for the first time that we previously only interacted with in virtual spaces, including Papaya Chemist, Twitch streamer Villainy, Tom Hartwich, the creator of Lucy Dreaming, who spent the entire convention dressed as some sort of Victorian eggplant for some reason, fellow adventure game YouTuber Yakwax Lips, and this dude dressed as Paradigm, as well as some old friends who had been there since the beginning, like Francisco Gonzalez, Dave Gilbert, Richard Cobbett, wrapping the whole thing in an equally comforting and wildly unpredictable blanket of mayhem were the delegates from the Classic Gamers Guild, our dear friends Roberta, Lonnie, and the rest of their entourage. And that's not to say we didn't instigate our own fair share of mayhem, as evidenced by how we capped off the first night after the official after-party had ended by inadvertently crashing an African wedding in a rather swanky posh hotel bar. Sorry, no footage exists of this, so you'll just have to believe me and my scores of eyewitnesses that it did in fact happen. We do, however, have footage of us inventing a variant of gin and tonic at the same swanky hotel bar that should in hindsight be classified as a biological weapon of mass destruction. All right, so this is mainly Tabasco sauce with possibly alcohol in it. I'm not sure. Potentially. 
That is a flavor. And then I realized, Yeah. I didn't taste the Tabasco. I, I just tasted like gin, burning, more burning, and uh, a bit of lime. Well, you know what it needs. More pepper. A crack of pepper. <laughs> so it's suitable for you now to drink. So Right. Okay. Oh, actually... The, the, the opening. Fuck right off. That was a mistake. Yes. Trolls. <laughs> Eat my shit. That is if hot. You go out there, right? I would like to apologize to everyone in the room, but what the fuck? Here we go. Here we go. Is this like a resort? Got to be in. It's uh, I think it's tomato juice. It's not actually that bad. Oh, oh no! Wait for a second. I smell the Tabasco. No, sm don't smell it. Just <laughs> don't drink it. I haven't even finished my first one. Not, not smelling. Oh, Just... Yes. Give me two seconds. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> oh, don't give it one. to me. Oh, no, Robert. No, no, yes. oh, yeah. Shall I try to see oh. if they make old fashioned? Oh, oh my god. god. I can't oh, wait for second. Oh, no. I'm so glad this You like spicy Airbnb. though, so. You can have the rest if you like. Apparently we need to, like, make more of these. No, 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 I don't think no. so. No. Debauchery aside, our second day at the convention went much like the first in that we walked around the floor, chatted to friends old and new, and just generally enjoyed being in the company of like-minded weirdos who didn't require a 20-minute explanation of what an adventure game is or why it's such a big deal to us. The whole thing served as a poignant reminder that, given the proper circumstances and opportunity, kindred spirits, no matter how far spread across the globe they are, will happily brave untold miles of uncomfortable air travel to come together and share harmoniously in their mutual passion, unburdened by any preconceptions of importance, social status, or, as my friends and I ably demonstrated the night before, the ability to conduct oneself with any degree of tact in public. Hi. I'm not the Space Quest Historian. He's not the Space Quest Historian. He is now. I am the Space Quest Historian. This was my plan this whole time. <laughs> no. Save me from this hell. Whether you're a developer hoping to get fresh eyes on your latest project, or a well-known name looking to connect with your audience, or in our case, a ragtag bunch of misfits clinging to one glorious weekend of escapism before the drudgeries of everyday life come crashing back in, Adventure X is a haven, an oasis of fresh air that leaves you inspired and determined to create, to interact, and uh, above all, leave you without a shadow of a doubt that there are indeed other life forms on this planet who are just like you. And that sense of belonging cannot be understated. It's one of the main reasons why I keep coming back to this event. No one is anyone's superior. No one roams the convention floors with any degree of detached arrogance or superiority. I mean, in just two days, I hung out with Dave Gilbert in the hallways, I chatted with Tom Hardwich on a pub floor, and even managed to get pranked by Charles Cecil. And, shameless name-dropping aside, the good vibes train just rolls through the whole convention. It permeates every nook and cranny of its atmosphere, much like the mold stains in our hostel bunk room. Seriously, what the fuck? Now, I have to give a special shout-out to the organizers of this event, who do their utmost to cultivate this atmosphere of chillness, and they do so year after year with aplomb. Adventure X is inspiring, it's inclusive, relaxing, welcoming, and a joy to attend, even though they keep rejecting all my submissions for talks that I want to give, but <laughs> there's always next year, motherfuckers. You think I'm gonna give up that easily? You think again. Every time you think you knock me down, I'll come back with more. I know, like fungus. Oh, a uh, quick addendum thrown in here at the last minute that I totally didn't think of after I'd already recorded all the previous voiceover stuff. Yes, London is a bit of a trek, especially if you're on the other side of the Atlantic, which, if my YouTube analytics are to be believed, is just shy of half of my viewing audience. And in that case, you might understandably feel a bit left out by all this glowing appraisal I've just tossed at a gaming convention set all the way across the pond. Well, fear not, American continent. 
As it turns out, next year the adventure game Hotspot site is having their very own adventure gaming convention in the United States, in Tacoma, Washington to be exact. It's a two-day event set for the 27th and 28th of July 2024, and it's shaping up to be one hell of a bash. For one, they've got this huge Sierra Online reunion thing planned, with confirmed attendees at the time of making this video, including luminaries like Al Lowe, Lorian Corey Cole, Jane Jensen, Robert Holmes, and Ken and Roberta Williams. And you can bet your ass I'll be there too. Chiefly because they're actually flying me out to host the damn thing. I don't know why. But anyway, it's going to be very exciting indeed. And I will, of course, keep you updated with details in the future. But right now, seamless cuts back to the ending of the script I'd already recorded. Anyway, I'm the Space Quest Historian. If you haven't been to Adventure X before, I sincerely recommend you go there next year. And if so, I'll probably see you there. And until then, round the Chrono stream. Bye.